Well, we, we teamed up with Ashley University in part because in our Birmingham office we wanted to go local. We're very keen on engaging with local organisations uh, and obviously Aston University is on our doorstep. Um, also we've teamed up with Aston because we're really excited about the work that they're doing. It, it's a real market leader in looking at biochar and looking at commercial ways in which biochar can be used. Are able to re reuse um, existing furniture so I think it's something like 70% of the furniture we are using is recycled from our existing office. The remaining 30% is being given to a local school. So there is no furniture whatsoever going to landfill. So there's been a significant effort and thought gone into making sure that we are sustainable, environmentally friendly and helping our local community in our journey. process in which we take material which could otherwise be considered as waste material or surplus material, residues, and we put it through um, the pyrolysis equipment, which heats it, and it heats it without oxygen. The material goes in to the, the unit, uh, and as it's heated, it's drawn through the equipment. Uh, as it's drawn through the equipment, um, the material starts to give off vapours, and we capture and harvest those vapours and we can use those vapours either for the production of heat or alternatively we can condense them into liquids which have industrial applications. So biochar has been identified internationally as a material which is significant or has significant opportunities for reducing the impact of climate change. And that's because it's very carbon rich and it can be used for carbon sequestration. So when we put it into the ground, when we put it into the earth, it doesn't decay over a very, very long period of time. At the same time, it, it works to improve the soil um, so you get better plant growth and those plants themselves capture carbon dioxide. When we looked at how we were going to fit out our building and the contractors that we were going to use to do that and the materials that they were going to use, we looked in some detail about maximising the way in which we could reduce carbon emissions. Uh, and improving sustainability. What I've done with the pots is to uh, use a resin. So the process is to mix uh, mineral powder with uh, a water-based acrylic uh, resin, which we produce over here. And we just need to make it a fine powder and we mix it with the resin in different portions. So if we wanted something darker, we would use more biochar. But in this case, it's just 25 grams per but you can also do 3D printing with it. So you can actually use it for 3D printing and add additive manufacture. You can use it as a composite material uh, and you can also use it for uh, a whole range of things like um, construction applications. So reducing the, the carbon impact on, of cement um, and also producing bioasphalt. That's something which we can't do our, on our own and we need to work with companies. To, to, to take forward as serious propositions for the marketplace. So we'd love to work with them to explore all of these opportunities.